The respiratory system is like a transportation system in our body that helps us breathe. It takes in oxygen from the air we breathe and sends it into our lungs through tubes called bronchi and bronchioles. These tiny air tubes end in millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli, where oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged. When we breathe in, called inspiration, our diaphragm, which is a muscle below our lungs, moves down and our rib muscles help lift our ribs up and out, making our chest bigger. This creates low air pressure inside our lungs, so air rushes in. During exercise, other muscles like the pectoral muscles and sternocleidomastoid can also help us breathe in even more air. When we breathe out, called expiration, our diaphragm relaxes and moves back up. Our rib muscles relax and our chest gets smaller, pushing air out of our lungs. During exercise, our abdominal muscles can also help push our ribs further down and in, forcing more air out. The oxygen we breathe in goes into our bloodstream from the alveoli, and the carbon dioxide, which is a waste product produced by our muscles, goes out of our bloodstream and into the alveoli to be breathed out. This process is called gaseous exchange, and it happens because of diffusion, which is the movement of gases from areas of high concentration to low concentration. There are different volumes of air that we can measure when we breathe. Tidal volume is the amount of air we breathe in and out with a normal breath, which is about 0.5 liters or 500 milliliters or 500 milliliters. Inspiratory reserve volume is the extra air we can breathe in after a normal breath, and expiratory reserve volume is the extra air we can breathe out after a normal breath. Residual volume is the air left in our lungs after we breathe out completely, which helps keep our lungs partially inflated. Tidal volume is the amount of air we breathe in and out with a normal breath, which is about 0.5 liters or 500 milliliters. Inspiratory reserve volume is the extra air we can breathe in after a normal breath, and expiratory reserve volume is the extra air we can breathe out after a normal breath. Residual volume is the air left in our lungs after we breathe out completely, which helps keep our lungs partially inflated. During exercise, our tidal volume increases because we breathe in deeper and more often, which helps us take in more oxygen and get rid of more carbon dioxide. Our heart rate also increases, which helps transport oxygen to our muscles and remove carbon dioxide from our muscles more quickly. So, the respiratory system and the cardiovascular system work together during exercise to make sure our muscles get enough oxygen and our body gets rid of carbon dioxide efficiently.